can sit here all day. <laughs> While we're on the topic of Beatles songs that Pearl Jam has done, I love it when I just I get the urge to do a song. This totally happened with this one yesterday. So we're doing I've Got a Feeling as played by Pearl Jam for Lamb 1225, Renato Gomez and Ignacio Garrido. How'd I do with that? Okay, check it out. Super awesome riff. I started playing this and I probably didn't stop for like 45 minutes yesterday. And it's only like three seconds long, so <laughs> you can imagine how the members of my household fe felt. Anyways, G, but we're gonna use not our middle and our pointer fingers here, we're going to use our ring finger and our middle finger on the E string third fret and the A string second fret. Pinky stays on baby E3 and we have an open B string, so... Give it a bass note, give it a strum, then Switch to C, so pointer finger goes on B1, middle finger goes on D2, and ring finger goes on A3, so you notice those two stayed the same shape. That's a nice little change. And you can keep your pinky finger on the E string third fret, because that's a G note that's already in the C chord. Look, there's an open G string in our C chord, so it doesn't change the C-ness. Good thing there's no P chord. Of the C chord, there's just an extra G in there. Anyways, you're gonna Take your middle finger now off the D string, pluck the D string, hammer it back on, and then pluck the G string, the D string, and then give it a strum. So that was... And now we have G. And you don't have to be so exact with your plucking the D string, just make sure you pluck the D string so when it hammers on, you hear that action. You see I've gotten sloppy with it, but the general gist of, is, of it is, is I'm plucking D and some other stuff, G and some other stuff, G, D, is an up, down, down, up, hammer, up, down, down again. I found a really cool way to do this. This is not how Stone does it, I don't think, because his hand's not moving enough for this way, but this way is really fun. You might just want to do this just for fun. Okay, thumb on our G note, E string, third fret, and do an F shape, just a baby F on the third fret of the E and B strings, fourth fret of the G string, and fifth fret of the D string, right? That's F, two frets higher, that makes it G. F, F sharp, G, so. And it's hard for me to kind of keep my thumb there, uh, especially when I have hair stuff on my hand, <laughs> which I do right now. Anyways, you can sort of abandon that, that after you've plucked it. And then, grab the A string fifth fret, and hammer on to seven, a la yellow lead better, and then play an A shape on the fifth fret of the D, G, and B strings, just with one finger, cause it's quick. And you can go back to A seven, and then back to our A shape. That's a C chord, cause look, A, A sharp, B, C, there it is. Now we have, and then I like to go back to uh, a string 7th fret and slide down and end up back on that bass note G. Now when they go, yeah, that part, it's a uh, G to start. And then I think Pearl Jam perhaps did not bother to learn what chord comes next, because you really can't tell. Jeff goes to a D um, in our key. In the, in the Beatles song, I went to look at what um, uh, Paul McCartney did, and he goes, well, I'll transpose it to the Pearl Jam key. They play it in A, Pearl Jam plays it in G. If the Beatles were in the Pearl Jam key, uh, Paul McCartney would have gone D, it's minor third, and it's dominant seventh. So that leads me to believe that uh, 
the chord that comes after G in the yeah part is D7. So it would be all... can't tell with Pearl Jam, it sounds to me like they just hang on G, which makes Jeff's D note okay, because uh, D is the fifth of the G chord. You could also play a G and then a G7 there if you want, that works really well. G7 is just like we were playing G, uh, but instead of pinky on the third fret of the E string, it's pointer finger on the first fret of the E string. So that'd be all. Yeah. Or you can play your D or your D7, whatever you want to do there, but that brings up a neat point. Let's look at our G chord. Um, the notes in your G chord are, this is a good thing to do with any chord, just for your own sort of uh, learning five minutes or something. So we got a G note, that's the third fret of the E string. We have a B note, that is the second fret of the A string. And we have a D note, that's the open D string. You know you've got all the chords there because this is a regular G chord. It doesn't have a 13 or a sus on it or anything. And every single major chord and minor chord is made up of three notes. So once you've found three different notes, those are the three that make up the chord. So G, B, D, another G, another D, another G in our regular G chord. When we change it to G7, we add a note and that is F. So here's a neat thing you can do uh, during the yeah part. Grab your B string sixth fret, that is an F note. And grab your G string, right? G string seventh fret, which is a D note. So here now we have an F and a D, which you would normally recognize as the F and the D out of your root five minor D minor shape. So on the A string, five, seven, seven, six is your D minor, but since G7 has four different notes in it, playing D minor's third and D minor's root, which is normally a D minor, isn't not a G7. That's a fun thing to do on the yeah part. Which also is why I kind of believe that Pearl Jam stays on the G there. Jeff moves up to the D, doesn't disagree with the G, because it's in there, we just found that, right? And Mike kind of goes a whole bunch and doesn't move off the not, not G7. So those are your choices, G, D, or D7, or G, G, or G, G7. Whatever you want to do there, but the bridge, is D, F, C, and G or G7. I tend to like G7 in this song for whatever reason, because it's a Beatles song, and they use seven chords whenever remotely possible. And that's how you play I've Got a Feeling uh, by the Beatles, as performed by Pearl Jam those many times. On the covers uh, CD I had a long time ago, they played it in A. Yeah. That's all, that's all I have to say about that. Now they play it in G. A couple of songs have dropped a, a, a half step or two, including um, um, Do the Evolution at Fenway Night One is now in D flat minor instead of D. I think Eddie, uh, I think he lost a half step there. That night anyways, who knows? Maybe he was. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.